Okay guys, today I'm going to be painting on a canvas. I don't know how I'm painting it, but I think I wanted to hang it up in my room. So I'm going to make it like kind of cute, kind of fun. And I'm going to show you the inspiration or like what I want to paint off of my phone. I want to paint... So I either want to do like, well, it's not exactly this, but I want to do clouds that are pink instead of this purpley color. And then I want to um, tape off a section of the canvas in the shape of a K, because that's what the first letter of my name is. So I'm just going to open it. I already had started opening it, but like, <laughs> I wanted to record it. I cannot rip the rest of this. Apple pencil for help. There we go, got it. So you can kind of see the painting right here. So I think I'm gonna be painting it this way, maybe. But I wanna have it long way. Yeah, I'm gonna do long way. Now I need to just get some tape. <sighs> it just fell. Oh. find a way to lean this without it falling. There we go. Oh wait, it's not leaned. There we go. So now you can see it. I have tape over here, but it's clear. So, it's going to have to work. So this is the only tip I have. I only have clear tape, really. So we're just gonna have to use this, but I think it'll work. Okay, so I want the K line to be about that long. Okay, so this is gonna be very straight. Take a little piece to straighten the bottom part up. You guys can't really tell, but like the shininess in it, it is what you can see.
I want this peel to be very satisfying. Okay, that should be good, right? You can see I don't think you can see it. But Okay, so now My sponge is gonna be special in this because it's gonna be like clouds. And my paintbrushes are like behind the camera. I'm gonna be using this paintbrush, this big, big paintbrush. I start something in my wall. Okay, so the color I'm gonna be using is like a pink, but I don't have pink so I'm gonna have to use white and red I think pink matches the aesthetic of my room the best because like your color is pink so yeah <laughs> and I'm gonna use That was a lot of red for that color. I've learned the hard way. Don't use a lot of red. It overpowers the color. I'm gonna be just using the smearing tool. That was too much red. Okay, this is starting to light up now. Yeah, I, I think you can see it from here. We're just gonna add a little bit more. Oh no, I got the pink on it. It's, it's okay. Yeah, that didn't really do much. Okay, that should be good. Now we're just going to start painting our background that color. I'm going to try to paint the tape, or not paint the tape, the best I can. Because I don't want to waste all the paint on the tape. If I'm not even going to use the tape on the painting. And I'm not expecting the tape lines to be super straight. I'm just expecting it to be enough to draw an outline of the K. Because I'm going to use Posca to draw the inside of the K. But the tape is just like there so that I don't paint over it. And so I get the blendy effect. Instead of just drawing a K in the middle of the painting. I'm going to need way more. I might as well just mix the color on the paper, right? Or on the canvas. So let's add that one's a lot of red. For this time, I want the pink darker over here. So less white added. to be darker because I want to kind of blend it that is way darker than I thought it was gonna be yeah it's a dark pink now let's try to blend them the best that we can here
not really good at blending. So don't yell at me. This is the wrong technique. Or if there is a technique, because I don't know if there is. But I want something that's just red over here. Yes, the K is supposed to look like that. This time we're going to lighten it up a little bit. I keep putting too much red. This side would lighten up a little bit. This white just needs to fade. So I'll mix into it more. Sorry, you can't see. I'm painting these edges over here. Oh, no. These colors. Still. That was my chapstick. You can't really see the corner, but, like, I'm painting the corner right now. How's your day going, by the way? Mine's going great. I have, um... Tomorrow I'm marching for my school band. I play the flute, by the way. If you play an instrument, comment down below what you play. Daffing the color on because I don't want to use any more paint up. Okay, this time we're just going to add a touch of red, like actually a touch. We're just going to go just like that. Oh, you can't. Like so, and then we just blend it. And now you've got the perfect pink. But the only thing is, is you don't get a lot. Well, why am I adding that? less of a pink and more of a red but like it's okay I'm not really focusing on the um, sides yet I'm more focusing on the top part of it, like what you see. I 
these sides aren't that big of a deal. They're just like what the size will look like, I guess. Kind of just figure out a side view of it. I just stop talking and focus the show. That's what's happening if I stop talking. So now I just have to kind of let this dry. Actually, I'm going to try to touch up these little like any more paint left in here. There's just these little dots randomly everywhere. My paint is already drying, so it shouldn't take that long. But while you're watching the paint dry, I'm gonna go wash up what I need to wash real quick. And get a tub of water. I was just getting my stuff cleaned up. Should be pretty dry. Now I'm gonna need to dirty the tray again with white. I use a lot of white paint. Something to see if it's dry. Just 
just kind of dab all over the paper, or the canvas. I keep calling it paper. Yeah, it's not dry yet. See the little marks? Well, I'll actually start because I don't think it matters too much. You hear me? See, dab. Get off the fridge and go play dab. for 10 more minutes. Now, get off the fridge like that. You have 10 minutes. No karma. This is so pretty. It seems less like clouds and more like smoke. Like a fire smoke. to make sure that if you do this make sure to get all your edges covered or else it's gonna look kind of weird and that's how the sponge looks and how your fingers look So now we just wait for that to dry. Waiting game, waiting game, waiting game, waiting game. So what I'm talking about is like the clouds look more like smoke, but I think I'm gonna go in and like try to trace them maybe. I don't know yet. And I'm kind of done with the paint, so I'm gonna put it away. Can just watch this again while I go wash the stuff again. I hope this is dry enough. Okay, so I need like a tweezer. I don't have a tweezer. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this thing again to kind of lift up the tape. 
too bad I don't want to peel up my nail. This is just how I'm going to start it. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I have it started. Look how straight the K is. Wait, did I make it? Okay, I thought I made it backwards. I just made it backwards from the camera. I'm surprised on how straight it is. I don't think I want to paint it black anymore. I think I'm going to leave it white, but I'm going to use my white marker to touch up some of the edges. Oh, never mind. It's dyed black, I'm pretty sure. Go white anymore, I guess. Use this and try to scrape off the paint. Scrape it back. It's, it's fine. Maybe this off white cream. We'll have to use a white. Two off whites. Wait, that's not off white, that's black. That's white. Oh, and then just saw the same off white. be good enough. It's light enough that you can't tell. That's actually cute. Okay, I'm gonna go around it with black. There it is. Oh no. Painting is not dry fully. This is going to touch the thing. Okay, good. Sorry, since I'm using my Posca, it's not really good on canvas, so I have to kind of use the scratchiness of it. So I'll just go one straight line without it messing up.
would do more, but I'm too scared to ruin it. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to risk it, so I don't think I'm going to hide anything else except for this outline. This outline is pushing it. I didn't know if I wanted to do that, because what if I mess up the outline? Or mess up the lines? Like I just did? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. But this is what I made. Here's some. That's what I made. So thanks for watching. Bye!